Week 54. We're going to start off by going right down the list. We're getting ready for a mini musicale. So we start with our scales, and they should sound like this. Left hand does the same thing. scales that we've been working on up to this point. For the mini music, I'd like you to prepare at least at one of those scales to play, but you should be playing each scale every day. Can we go to improvisations? Six and seven, they're on your practice CD, so at this point you would go to your, um, your CD or your download, and right now I am opening it up. Um, these are to be done every day, and this is... Um, just a moment, let it warm, let it get going. While it's doing that, I'll go and get my book. Okay. All right, so I'm now on my CDs, and I go to my practice disc four, and it's, I'm waiting for it to open up. And we're looking for improvisation six and seven. Here we go. So all you have to do improvisation is improvisation six on. in D major right using now. one and four chords. This time we will use both hands to play the melody. I will improvise on a chord and leave time for you to improvise on the same chord. I will start with the one chord. I use chord tones, and I use the same chord tones as the chord tone I'm hearing now. Now I'm going to move to improvisation number seven. Improvisation seven in D major, using one and four chords. This time we will use both hands to play the melody in triple meter. I will improvise on a chord and leave time for you to improvise on the same chord. Right, so I only use the right hand for number one six. Chord. I should have used both hands. My apologies. <laughs> Thank you. 
so that's that's improv and as you see this hasn't taken much time but I'm asking them to choose one for the mini music out so now we're going to page 14 and 15 and this has been around for a little while so they should be quite good at it we're working on what are called root position chords so root position chords mean exactly that we we take a, a if we're in the key of C and we play a C scale we give each member of the scale a scale number so this is one because it's the first note in the scale this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six and this is seven and so these are called scale tones we build chords on those scale tones so in the key of c major the chord built on the first scale tone would be what we call the one chord. If I go to the fourth note and I build a chord, we call that the four chord. Now up to now, the children have seen this variation. Notice that I simply took this note and put it down here. So this is the, the chord that we're talking in root position. The reason why we show the children this one is because it's easier to move to. It's more fluid. But the one chord in the root position is where the the uh, scale tone is at the base of the chord, so here we are. The five chord is a brand new chord. This is the chord built on the fifth tone. It's not a five seven chord. It is a chord built on the fifth tone. And notice to do that, I took every other note. So there's the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord in root position in the key of C. The root position chords in C exercise looks like this. Then it's reversed. Now on page 15 we're doing the same thing but in the key of D. So the first scale degree is D, the second scale degree is E, the third is F sharp, the fourth scale degree is G, so, and the fifth scale degree is A. So the one chord in D, the four chord in position is, and the five chord is. So now when I play this exercise in the key of D, it sounds similar, but we're in the key of D. This is what they wrote out. And this is what they'll be practicing each day, and they want to prepare that for the mini musicale. Now we get to choosing two pieces to play for our mini musicale, and they can choose from the following Fay Dodo on page seven which is this piece. Another piece they can choose is John's Idea on page 9. can also choose the minuet on page 17. And they can choose the Largo. Both 
left, right, right, and they move in the same direction. Up a skip, down a step, down a skip. Again, both left, right, right. Notice that rhythm change there. So they should prepare two of those pieces for our mini musicale. Uh, finally, on page 23, we have a piece called Follow Me. This I would like everyone to learn. If you have Piano Marvel, it's on Piano Marvel. We're in the key of E major. And of course, they practice the E major scale, so they know these chords. choice to choose from. Okay, we're going to page 26, and as you see, this piece is, we're doing our note names on the grand staff. So, um, as you see, this has already been done, um, and uh, what I pointed out to them was particularly this C, this third piece down, this C, and this C, and we worked on, in class, looking at these notes and how they move up stepwise and we named them. We looked at this and we looked at these notes and we looked at those stepwise and we looked at these notes. All right, and then based on what they see up here, first they're seeing that we're in C do and they see this is do me so so me do so so me me. Ooh, look at there's a mistake there. Me so do Oh, no, I was wrong, misreading. So, so, do, and then now they see it's C do, but it's the do is now this one. Do, re, mi, fa, so, do, 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 so, fa, mi, re, do, mi, so, do. Now they take this note C, and they find it here, and they indeed see it's a C. And they find this E, and they see it's an E, and this G, it's a G, etc. G, E, and C. Notice it's the same notes, so that's not too hard. Down here, they see it's a C in bass clef. C, and there's D, E, F, and a G. And again, based on that, they can then figure out these. This should not take long. Now, what they're also working on is getting good at uh, playing the game that I gave them. And I'm just getting my pieces out right now. Um, if you weren't in class, you don't have these pieces, so that could be a little difficult to play, but I'll show you how it works. We'll see if I can do it up here. All right, so the first thing they're going to do is they're going to take out the cards that are the alphabet. We want them to get used to being able to put these in order rather quickly, and we'll play other games to work on this. And then I asked them, I gave them the cards that are all with the treble clef. And remember, I took back the other cards. So here are all the cards in the treble clef. Okay. Okay, so then I asked them as quickly as they can to put these cards in the correct space. Now they can use the... Uh, page we just looked at, but the thing I would do first is first they find this middle C, because that's an important note to find. I'd also have them find the, I want them to get to know these three, this C here, because that C is what we call a guidepost. If they can find these two C's quickly, and I mean without figuring out, they just see it and they, they can identify it, then they can infer what the other notes are. For instance, if that's a C, 
we determined that this node is the next line up, and therefore it's D. And then this is the next space up. See, they're moving up stepwise, so that must be E. And moving up again to F and G. So you see, we're, we're looking at it, and we're, we're figuring them out based on this note. It takes a long time for them to remember the names of these notes, letter and name notes, and this is a great skill for theory. Same thing here. I'm look, I know that C is there, and so the note that's just below the staff is D, and we've seen that a lot. They should be familiar with that. The next line up would therefore be E, and then we have an F, and then I'm looking for the G. So these are based on thinking of these two. Now, I already told them that this is high C, and I put that up there. They have to just remember that. And if you look at this one, it's lower than that, so that must be B. Again, this is lower than the C, so that must be B, and that must be A. And the reason why I gave them this is I want to point out this is not C, because it's above the staff with the treble clef, not below. This is, in fact, A. And this is how I would like them to practice setting up and doing it quickly. So once they've done it, they should take it apart and do it again and time themselves. Then when they're done with these, and they should do that every day until they're very good at it, and then they put them away. They have to bring them back. I do have extras, and I'll have them, but I'd rather that they work with their own set. Okay. Uh, Finally, uh, there is uh, page 24, <clears throat> and in class we looked at Mouse Mousy, and Mouse Mousy, I didn't, if they can play it, and indeed I've had students come back and be able to play the whole thing. It's in the key of F do. What's different is the articulation, legato staccato. So they're getting more finesse. Absolutely welcome them to learn that also for the mini music out. Number two, more legato. It, if they're using these for the mini music out, I would like to have the hands together. Number three, they were supposed to add their own articulation. So they can add either legato or they can add. And they do it by writing it in the score. And I told them that if they can play it, then they can write it in my in my notation program. Uh, number four, five, and six, we played a game listening to the different bases. These are a little more difficult. If they wish to learn them, that's fine. I'll play them for you now. This is optional. left-hand parts, but if they all their homework is to add the articulation here and to try to play it, at the very least I'll play it for them. Finally, I mentioned if they haven't completed it, to go to page 21 and to finish this duple composition with 1, 4, and 5, 7. They're given a rhythm on top, the chords on the bass sound like this. something like this, and they would write that. Now they have a four chord, so again, three notes with that rhythm, five, seven, and they finish. And they have to write that out and then be able to play it. I hope that helps you get through lesson 54 and helps your children become more um, excited about music and also ready for a mini musicale 
don't forget to plan to attend.